lot you can do with Zapier just by connecting apps you already use. But we've also built a number of in-house apps to help your automated workflows go further. There's a few differences between a Zapier app and a third-party app like Slack. Zapier apps are add-ons that we've built that usually serve a utility purpose. So they can't always stand alone and they tend to rely on data from other apps to function. But that doesn't mean they're not powerful. So you're probably wondering, what do Zapier apps do? Well, everything, and we're not exaggerating. We're going to talk about three, formatter, schedule, and filters. Sometimes apps will spit out data that isn't quite user-friendly. Formatter is our multi-tool, which will transform your data into another format. You can do things like format a date, extract an email address from a block of text, strip out HTML, and a ton more. You might want something to automate on a time schedule. Let's say you want to automatically create a new card in Trello on a specific day each week. Schedule triggers your zaps on a recurring schedule of your choice, like every morning, every week, or even every month. Sometimes you may not want your zap to trigger unless certain conditions are met. For example, let's say you only want to receive notifications in Slack when a customer has a negative response in a survey. Filters are extra steps that act like traffic lights for your data. The list goes on and on, and we have too many apps to name, but don't worry. We'll show you how to use a few of them. If you want to learn how to take your zaps to the next level, jump to the next lesson.